Hey guys, I'm Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. I told you I'll have those videos rolling out for you. <laughs> you might just get fed up with me. I, I hope that you don't anyway. Please subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified when I upload a video, which is every day until this quarantine is over. Hopefully. Hmm. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with someone you think might like it, and I hope you stay to the end. Stay to the end. What else you gotta do? Tell me. I'll wait. See? Nothing. Stay to the end. I did, um... I tried following Scott Barnes, um, J Lo's makeup artist techniques and it turned out beautifully in my opinion. Like the makeup wore beautifully um, throughout the day. Honestly, as I, the more I wore it, the more it looked like I just loved the way it did look. It looked natural, like he said. At first when I was doing it, it was like heavy, but afterwards it just looked really nice. Honestly, when my skin warmed up to it and stuff, underneath my eyes never looked so smooth. So I had this idea, I'm like, why not try to use some of the techniques that i did yesterday but i'm not going to use uh no powders so i'm going to use my wet and wild photo focus coconut three in one primer water he didn't use primers but i feel like primers makes a difference in my makeup i swear i see a difference because although the makeup wore beautifully i did feel like i got really oily at the end of the day all right so i applied elf um holest putty primer because I wanna, I'm doing this, is it I go big or I go home, I'm going all the way, I wanna look glowy and hairy. <laughs> so I'm applying some stroke cream to my face as well. My skin is all kinds of uneven. Oh my god. Anyway, so I am going to start with um, concealer. And today I'm using Jouer High Coverage Concealer. And I'm gonna apply that underneath my eyes. My chin, bridge of my nose, and my forehead. I liked how my forehead looked yesterday as well. Blend this bitch out. I'm gonna start with a brush and pat it in first. I'm gonna go over with the sponge and just press everything in so it's more um, like blended. To just soak up any excess product because I want to soak that product up because like I said I'm not wearing any powders today. I'm gonna take my a ColourPop concealer, no filter concealer in Rich 75. I think they changed the name of the colors now but I'm gonna use that to contour my face. So I have some on the back of my hands and I'm just gonna distribute it nicely on the brush so that it's even. Apply that in my contour area. All right, these earrings gotta go. I'm trying to play cute. My nose as well. But I'm using like a thicker brush. I don't like the thin brush technique. I, I'm i kind of trying to just blend everything together as I'm doing it. And around the mouth. I'm taking Smashbox. Studio Skin Full Coverage Foundation, just a little bit to help blend all of this together. I'm trying to not use too much of creamy, creamy products because I do not know how my skin is going to react to that because I do have combination skin. So I'm trying to use products that's going to last and set in place nicely as well. Here again, a little on the sponge and I'm like really pushing it into the sponge. Push, 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 push. Stamping it on my face. My forehead, mesh everything nicely together. I'm being sure to get everywhere that didn't have either concealer or contour. Make sure that my skin is covered and that everything is really blended. If you were to try this and you have my skin type, I would always I would recommend not to use too much of a cream product to slip and slide. We're going in for blush and I'm using a liquid blush today. I'm using Milani liquid blush um, in Rose Romance. I'm also going to apply some of this in the back of my hand. I'm going to take the other side of the sponge and dab the sponge in this. Really pick that up, push it into the sponge and stamp this on my cheeks. Mm. 
It's very glowy. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So different from what I'm used to. I'm gonna take my fan and just uh, do this for a couple seconds. Just to let everything set a little bit before I go in with a second layer of the blush. Benefit What's Up highlight is a small sample size. It's a cream. I'm gonna put a little bit of it on the sponge. And I'm gonna tap that on my cheeks. A little bit on my nose. All right, this is something new again. So I'm just gonna take my sponge one last time. I'm taking the other end that I have no product on and just tap that over everything. Make sure there are no creasing happening underneath my eyes. I'm gonna set all of this. I'm gonna use this Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Now, before I use this spray, let me give you a story about this spray. Obviously, the black one, the, con the original one is my favorite, so I ordered two of these and they came and I feel like they were faulty. They weren't spraying like the other one because it's, um, that is a matte, I think like the alcohol or whatever is causing the product to clog and it's coming out in like, like a gel-like formula. So, um, they, I told them and they sent two more and if it's one thing I can say about Morphe's customer service is that they're really, really good. They respond really quick and they sent me two more and the same thing is happening. So I have four of this and I don't think it's my favorite because of what's happening to it. So I don't know if it's, I don't know, cause I have four, like I said, and it's the same thing is happening to all four, but I'm going to use it anyway. Cause, um, I have it. So uh, beware if you were to try this or so if you have tried this let me know if the same thing is happening to yours because i don't know so i'm gonna spray this all over my face because i'm not using any powders to so just sort of help lock everything in and it's a matte spray i don't know if you can see that can you see this this on my forehead like i don't understand what happens to the spray it's crazy anyway i'm just gonna push that in my skin This is not my preferred way, I must say. I feel like I look aged. Aged. I'm just gonna pop some shadow on like really, really quick. Nothing fancy. I'm just gonna use some of the bronze in this palette. I'm gonna take the shade G Money and apply that to my outer and my inner corner. Just create sort of something like um, a sort of halo eye. I'm taking that same brush and I'm just applying a lighter brown. It's called Perfectionist. I'm just gonna um, pop that in the center of my lid just to create something of a halo effect. I really chose to do this little simple look because I haven't played with the neutral colors in this palette yet. I'm taking a tad bit of the black Temptress and just apply that in my waterline. And I'm gonna take G Money and really buff that out so that it's not too dark. I just want something darker in my bottom lash, but I don't necessarily want it to be like very, very black. The product is settling nicely on my skin. I think the mattifying spray really does mattify your skin because my skin does not look glowy anymore. But um, it's, it's just disappointing the way it's coming out of the pump, man. It really mattified my face. It really did. So I'm taking um, Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow from CRT. I want, this is what it looks like. I want my eyes to look wet looking. So I'm picking that up on a brush and gently tap it over my eyes, mostly to the center and fan it out. Also gonna apply some of it to the middle of my bottom lash as well. taking a little bit of the black in the palette and just add some to the outer corners of my eyes just to make it look a tad bit more smoky but not too smoky all right there we have a very simple but still nice eye look let me do my brows and be right bye all right so my brows are done and in case you're wondering i'm still loving got to be ultra glue to set my brow hair it works if it ain't broke don't fix it so i want to do an orange lip 
I have all these colors and a MAC one. I don't know which one I really want to use today, but I know I want my lips to be orange. And I don't want it to be extremely matte either. Hmm. So I'm just going to apply a little lip line. I'm using Morphe Bite Me just for a little definition. I must say that Morphe spray is matte as hell. My face is like matte. I look like I used powders. My face is like matte. I can't believe that. Anyway, more orange from MAC. I'm going to take a little bit of this melted, um, Too Faced Melted Matte and just apply a little bit of that because it's uh, of a brighter orange. I think I want something brighter. Okay, so there we have it. The completed look of me using no powders in my makeup routine. Um, I must say, my skin looks soft and it does look natural. Um, I find that I looked a little bit aged, just a tad bit, like I need a little bit of powders somewhere. But other than that, I like the way it looks. And this spray, although it's disappointing, um, the formula is probably a good formula because it really just mattified everything on my face. It really did. My face is like, it's like matte. It almost looked like I used powders. I feel like I could have more coverage on my skin. Like my forehead looks blotchy. Underneath my eyes looks a little blotchy. I don't know. It's, I'm going to give it like a 70%. I'll probably do a look like that if I don't need my makeup to last me for a very long time and to stay flawless looking for a very long time. Um, maybe to run to a friend's house as we are in quarantine. <laughs> we don't have anything else to do, but they still want to look cute. Like, this is a fine. I, I would definitely do this look a different way because I'm not totally pleased with it, but I like it. Well, I'll wear this makeup during the day for the day and see how it holds up at the end of the day. And I'll come pop up in a little vlog style and let you know how I really feel about it but I can see my forehead not looking the way I want it to look. Um, like I said, I'm not totally pleased, but I'm not totally disappointed either. I'm kind of on the fence about it. So I'll pop back in and see how it looks after my, my um, body would have warmed up to the makeup. So see you soon. Hey guys, so I'm here with the checking and I must say that I'm pleasantly surprised with the way this makeup is looking. I never thought I'd feel that way. I 100% recommend it. I tried to apply my product over top like some concealer and bronzer and whatnot and it went on beautifully. Any creasing that occurred, which not much did, was easy to remove. And I mean, if you're someone who's into makeup, you will know that when you apply, you already locked your makeup in place with powders during the day. It's very difficult to go over that with any liquid product or whatnot and this this did not happen with that everything just went on nicely blended nicely my skin looks soft and natural like i'm just pleasantly surprised and i think that the morphe spray has a lot to do with how my skin is looking it really just locked everything in place the formula is beautiful i just don't like the way it's coming off the can so i would definitely try to do my makeup that way more often um, especially in the summertime. I'm excited to see how it will look in the summer with all the heat and whatnot. Um, so yeah, so try it. Watch the video, try it, and maybe comment and let me know how you think, what you feel about doing your makeup with no powders. Like, I'm, I'm like, mind blown right now that I'm here saying, saying this, honestly. <laughs> anyway, thumbs up from me. So I will list all the products I use in the description box as always. Check out all my social media links. I'm a nail tech and a makeup artist out here in Brooklyn. Follow me, see my work. And I 100% recommend this spray for the formula. But I don't know what's going on with the mister on it, honestly. So um, thank you so, so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video tomorrow. Let's continue to touch the world one face at a time. Bye, guys.